Hello, today I'm experimenting with a side view Minecraft like, similar to something like Terraria, except for it doesn't have voxels that are all square. As you can see, every other voxel is squashed. And what this is, this is because while there is going to be an outside, you're not going to be working with it, you're not going to be mining. Um, instead, what you're going to be doing is building up a base, and you're going to be focusing on that. And this uh, 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 this system here allows you to have a very simple uh, scaffold for building your structures without having to worry about the precise area of every single room you build. Um, so it's it's got the standard idea, which is built into basically every house, of having a large space and then a thin wall. Uh, and so in these large gaps, in these large spaces, you would be able to put furniture, machines, doors backwards into other rooms that have specialty pur purposes and so on. In the smaller areas, in the walls, you would put uh, doors uh, or you would put uh, special, you know, put wiring. Um, in this case, I've got uh, a horizontal floor that is a ledge rather than a full-fledged floor and you can jump through it, but it can't carry any wires in it. So uh, if we had something like this, for example, and we put a computer here, the computer wouldn't have any way to get any power because these these floor panels can't carry power, so you'd have to change these over into you know walls or something similar, um, and uh, and only then would you be able to to give your computer power. There. You are. But the idea is uh, is that this scaffold allows you to build an interior very easily and rapidly, while still allowing for quite complex simulation in terms of physics. Uh, for example, atmosphere physics, heat, pressure, uh, what outside can reach how high, uh, whether you're inside, whether you're whether you're underwater, uh, how much of your base is flooded, uh, that sort of stuff. All of that can be all, all that can be done using this very quite quite easily. Um, and since it's chunkier in terms of the size than something like Terraria, which has very, very small voxels, um, uh, you can build a lot more a lot easier. Uh, you don't have to worry about every single pixel that you're trying to lay down. So that's, um, that's the thing I'm experimenting with now. I think this is actually just a, the framework system. I'm actually going to start using real meshes for the various voxels. Um, and I'm going to start using a couple of, uh, of more complicated uh, inventory systems to allow you to build in this sort of environment where you don't have an inventory you carry around with you. Instead, you have access to a construction inventory. All of those experiments coming up this weekend, I hope.